I think I might have uh, figured out where the swamp step is from. <laughs> it's time to. Yeah, uh, slope step. I imagine that that could turn out to become a uh, Twitch meta in the future. Ah! Right. How's it going, folks? Jack here with another video. Today we're checking out the. Uh, yeah, I, I know my my hair is like really weird Schmidt, it's today. It's like exploding. I can't control it. But today we're celebrating yet another pride of Finland, I guess, with one of the holy artifact of the trifecta of games coming up from that country. We have my summer car, fear and hunger, and of course cruelty squad. Now some may argue that Alan Wake 2 is also part of it. Yes, the video game featuring an all powerful janitor as well as a writer experiencing the biggest fear that any redditor will ever have having the words come to fruition is not nearly as weird as what any of those three could deliver most specifically cruelty squad now this video will have been a bit uh, slow to release because i wanted to play through uh, the, the game to its end because earlier I think it was last year that I watched a review not a review a hypercut that's what he calls it by Jimmy T. Ross the person who more or less had smashed the torch of insane editing to Max War and uh, do this also please make sure to also check his video on it but this game is pure undistilled insanity I have never seen a depiction of would-be capitalism in this way but what the hell do I know? Completing the game itself was already difficult enough, so I couldn't understand half of the concept that were going on there. Pyro Cynical has made a four hour long video about it. I should watch it. But I'm more or less leaning to the fact that the people who made this game were just making shit up as they went. They, they had to. But that being said, though, we have Lord Maxor here bringing us yet another insane edit to feel that uh, bit of dopamine that we're all lacking for. So, ready for that ADHD editing? <laughs> Let's get into it. I am genuinely serious about the epilepsy warning. Cruelty Squad is a profound and enigmatic stealth shooter that's very nice and respectable looking. Really, uh, t t really digging the look of this Roblox zombie. And out of deep respect for the source material, I will be editing a video that looks as beautiful as Cruelty Squad. Acid trip? No. This is going to be an acid adventure. <laughs> set in a twisted and dystopian society known as capitalism, where landlord phobia is a thing of the past and the value of human life has plummeted so low, it's negative. We play as an esteemed person of wealth who is tasked with the assassination and suffering of anyone unlucky enough to be in the same room as me, but progresses to dark and sinister revelations that result in the death of five separate gods. Including yourself. Including yourself. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I know this game can be a little bit confounding and difficult to interpret. The messaging is just so deep. But don't worry. I've played this game for hundreds of hours, and I still don't know what's happening. It's Hold on. My dude kicked out of the video with a loving memory of Henry Kissinger. Jesus Christ. The man's a straight up lich. <laughs> But I'm so happy that he died. Like, you would be hard pressed to find an individual as despicable as he was. And I do not understand how some people are venerating him. But that being said though, I'm calling the man a lich because I cannot believe that he made it so long. To the age of what, a hundred? He has to have a phylactery somewhere. I don't trust that he's dead. Until that thing has been found and incinerated with the power of eldritch dragons, I will not let my god down. The messaging is just so deep. But don't worry, I've played this game for hundreds of hours and I still don't know what's happening at this. Ooh. Oh my fucking god, this thing at the end. John Cruelty. <laughs> Let's go. So the game begins with our concerningly red protagonist experiencing wet when we receive a most unusual phone call. Hey, what's poppin' little incel? Ever think about playing God? Uh, no. Well, I do, so listen up. Perfect oh, having Jimothy there. Look, I know things have been hard after your lobotomy, which is why I feel comfortable giving you a gun. So, uh, welcome to the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> oh man, playing on that notion of the Marines not being too bright. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I remember somebody in the chat previously uh, during the last stream who complained about that, to which 
I was like, no, 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 don't say that. We even had a whole thing about IQ regarding that thing. You know, I think it was a Jubilee video where we found that the literal guy who was part of the Marie Corp was the one with the highest IQ. Now, of course, IQ is not indicative of certain things, right? Intelligent quotient is something that is so weirdly measured. Your problem solving skills is the most important. Your adaptability is what we look at. And I think that's, that's what people should be judged on. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We shoot people for actual money. Oh, sweet. How much? <laughs> I didn't say your money. <laughs> your mission is to assassinate the business world's finest in increasingly deranged bouncy castles and, uh, alternate dimensions. Just, like, don't think about it too hard. Okay, but I've got one question for you. Can I watch the static channel? Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't see why not. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> A pace out. Taking the first step on our quest to literally eat the rich, we come upon the realization that, uh, this is what the game looks like, all the way down to the abnormally large picture frame that is present at all times. Mm -hmm. It also changes based on whether or not we have a soul. So, if you die too many times, you will be disconnected from the light of God, cursed to roam the earth as a mass of writhing flesh. Also, I can, uh, eat dead bodies now, so I guess they have good taste. This yeah. game's graphics are not just terrifying, they're consistently terrifying, and there's no way of telling whether or not something has a deeper meaning, or if the devs are just fucking with you. <laughs> Me publishing the 10 hour video essay on killing my landlord. I wonder what it could possibly be. Case in point, the reload mechanics require you to yank the mouse backwards like you have fucking conniptions. Th Dude, at the, end of, <laughs> at the end of a playthrough, I was twitching like somebody who had that arthritis. Jesus. This represents how hard it is to do anything in this game. He's like a DVD player. <laughs> Visiting the meat room, we have. Uh, uh, why yep. is there a meat room? What yep. do you mean I can't reverse the process? I would like to go back now. Visiting the actual mission this time, we notice that the rest of the game is worse than that, on like a fundamental level. You see, each mission has many different ways to approach, and all of them are completely fine and normal looking. Sometimes, a mission will have you navigate the inside of a building, making your way downwards through many a mysterious do doorway, before depositing you up uh, back of the roof again. Motherfucking Finland, what do you have with doors? Why does maze feature to such a huge extent in video games there. Just a few things that spring to mind, Fear and Hunger has a whole door maze. Uh, Control's best level is a literal labyrinth, so I guess that's where the mazes are good. And don't get me started on Alan Wake 2. It's like, I'm finding those games difficult to consume sometimes, but then comes Cruelty Squad and goes like, oh, we're gonna go full MC Escher on your ass. This, this doesn't help me at all. My favorite part of this mission is definitely the gigantic meat shaft. No matter what you do, do not eat the pills that make you go upside down. <laughs> Worst mistake of my life. Yeah, wait till we get to the... Oh. So big pharma, taste he found it. If you paid close attention to Maxwell's editing, there are certain things that are like in continuity, at least things that are pretty repetitive in it. And uh, a certain joke that he tends to make f use of a lot is Tens Kaczynski. And I haven't seen it in this video yet, but there is of course one who is way worse than him in this level here. <laughs> So after giving Big Pharma a taste of their own medicine and devouring the evidence, <laughs> we make our way into the most organized neighborhood in Houston, which just so happens to be shaped like a pentagram. Welcome to Paradise City, one of the most normal levels in the game, containing within it a myriad of fun destinations, oh, the like the pops. church that was converted into a pizza store. What the fuck did they put in the walls? The Orphan Eviscerator, <laughs> Child's Conception of What a Castle Is, The uh, Dark World, and the Accurate Recreation of Bin Laden's uh, Compound. Actual Compound, which I immediately rammed into with my Hyundai Sonata so I could catch a bite with the big man himself. Driving very responsibly to the next target. Traffic jam? Well, I've never tasted it. We encounter the <laughs> funny lady, whose pathfinding forbids her from entering the street. My guy really does not want to jaywalk in this neighborhood. <laughs> Just got to, uh... Oh yeah, the pissing. <laughs> Killing the next man with his hands behind the ground. We move on to the coolest and most regular house in the neighborhood. As is evidenced by the, uh... Uh, KYS. Keep yeah. yourself safe. Cons yurt site. Uh, that is that is an interesting wallpaper. It makes me feel so protected and safe. Oh, looks like you've got quite the collection here, buddy. Ah, I see you've taken a liking to my. Oh, Gianni. No, I haven't. Amazing, isn't it? That they embrace me despite my flesh. For the packaging is eternal and pure. Uh, I will be as the lion and as the Nephilim. If you kill me, my soul will ascend to plastic. Are you okay, man? Release me from my corporeal flesh, and I will become as the. Uh, sorry, buddy. That was a. <laughs> 
Oh man, you should have let him ascend to polyethylene. Slippery slope fallacy. Yo, I'm gonna have what this guy's having. That, uh, oh, <laughs> my entire world has been, has been. There's no fucking oh, way. No. There, there is no fucking way. So <laughs> it turns out if you keep falling for 10 minutes, the game uh, gives up on you. That. <laughs> I got a real case of the heebie-jeebies. The rest of this mission is really fun, especially when I figured out I could sell the organs that I found. But I couldn't help but notice that something was a Black little bit off about the town catacombs. Every city in America has to have one. So, while getting inspiration for my next creepypasta video where Mario comes out of the pipes and kills me, we descend deeper through the bone zone and into the- Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna have to play the whole level like this, aren't I? I mean, the positive thing is that it does not encounter this by the end of the game. Because then it gets creepy. Hey guys, welcome to the stage that closed its eyes and known home. for its many visible landmarks, like the eyeball sun or the transmission towers. Really big fan of the microwave ASMR that permeates the entire level. Just don't play this at the very end of the game, otherwise, uh, I want God to come down and explain this to me. This is actually giving me a migraine right now. So after killing people in the pitch darkness, like the game is trying to censor itself, we make our way to the ominous glowing mansion where we can roleplay as American police by slaughtering the entire dark world population. This is the shittiest game of Where's Waldo I've ever seen. Hey guys, Max are here, and today we're gonna be visiting the, the pulsating meat. Fuck. <laughs> he went there. I think this planet might be better without light. Uh, hey, buddy, you know you can't just walk in here and kill people, right? Oh, yeah, uh, says who? The police Pyro. Say that, actually. Oh, appeal to authority much? I'll show you an ad hominem attack. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, the meat mind. So after escaping our banishment to the Shadow Realm, we journey to the headquarters of the Gamer Subs Corporation, where we can try their <laughs> delicious energy drinks for a fraction of the price. But before we can do any of that, we need to steal a forklift and use it to cross the ocean. I don't think Osho is uh, on board with this one. Oh yeah, Howdy, the fishing. Yeah. You aren't from around oh. these parts, are you? That's okay. Me and my ominous friends in the sky love having visitors to our humble abode, especially after bringing us an entire forklift how did you never He's mind. certified there are many more fish in the sea after all so please take my long sturdy pole and practice the art of the pisces to your heart's content uh thank you and don't worry we will be watching you every step of the way i, I kind of don't want to fish anymore <laughs> finally alone with my thoughts i soon realized that each fish i caught was worth more than beating this mission and that each of them has a speculative value on the stock market <laughs> thank god he showed us thing there like the Okay, so Cru Cruelty Squad is messed up. You don't say. On many levels, but in addition to all the horrors that the people in this world have committed, there is, aside of the gods, right, extraterrestrial beings, straight up aliens that I think that you can't fish up. If I'm not mistaken there, there's one that possesses you, the one that kind of looks like Flowey from Undertale before the horrendous transformation, and uh, there's another one that I can't exactly put my head on how you get but i think that one of them is fishable and please don't ask me to explain why this game is so fucking random which i proceeded to trade on for the next 30 minutes not actual stocks mind you just the fish i even made a literal fish index fund it's what the sky demons would have wanted <laughs> so we head back to the gamers ups link in the description where we find a 10 percent discount on delicious energy products most of which comes in this cool powder so uh, uh, please don't snort it <laughs> what the fuck is this texture uh, oh no oh god it's on the floor these are all of the uh, dissatisfied customers along the way discovering many amazing flavors like sigma brain grandpa t t grandpa's ashes or just a t t t lean yes that, <laughs> joe is, that is joe biden on the cover <laughs> bad and naughty children get made into the guacamole gamer fart flavor it's so cheap and affordable Whoa. so after ascending the literal corporate pyramid we assassinate the ceo for his devious role in the making of this video Jeez, leading us to be arrested by the police for all the criminal deals you can find in the description Fuck the police. The year is 2024. The police have formed a self-serving cult who conspire to get away with the killing of Dark Worlders. Now it's up to us to offer the police chief a 12-gauge diversity seminar who took so many steroids that he's yes, transformed into a bouncy castle. castle. This castle, yeah. is a borderline nonsensical collection of rooms where even the slightest noise will cause an absolute cavalcade to chase you down the halls like a venture the Scooby-Doo isekai. Take, for instance, this room. 
I, am I interrupting something? I'm gunning down an actual clown car. Fuck the police, eat the rich. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, eat the fucking police. Look, all I'm saying is there ain't no song called the post office. Here we got the uh, basketball court. I, uh, to, uh, what is my camera doing? I oh believe no, I'm that's thing. Oh my God. The actual brain tumor experience. An enemy whose primary attack. To an extent, it's kind of, it's kind of genius to add mechanics that you do not expect to ever be there. Like, there are certain NPCs that like haunt you for the rest of your playthrough. And I swear, like every single time that I encountered a cop, I just looked in the corner like, please, please don't let it be there. I don't want to be psychically probed and imagining how it is that my character's brains are flowing out of its ears. Back is making the game impossible to play. I normally don't get motion sickness, but like, Jesus Christ. Let's hope the next level has a really cool enemies that are equally as fun to play against. Oh, man. So after deflating the police chief, we are sent to the shopping mall so we can befriend the President of the United States. Along the way, visiting the many benefits of modern consumerism, such as the Punishment Store, which sells the amazing cubes that cover the entire screen. The game E, which sells a <laughs> realistic depiction of a panic attack. Man, I would kill for a copy of Garbino's Quest. It is the world's only video game. Oh, well, oh guess we'll have to go to the gun store instead. Uh, why? Don't come to the mall tomorrow. The Pizza Cathedral slash Wallpaper Store. The other punishment store, which sells the uh, Funko Pops. The plant shop do be having oh, plants no. escaping into the mall and killing everyone. It is only a matter of time. Gun and Gear, which seems to be a... What did I uh, say about coming to the mall? We need to get out of here. And of course, Donut World, which is filled with the police officers. <laughs> Needless to say, this level is really big, with a variety of routes that don't really result in your death as much as guarantee it. My favorite example being the, uh, the, hey there. Oh, and the sound, oh, yes. The, the noise is just so terrifying. Uh, I guess I'm safe. Uh, I don't think he's, he's, uh, uh going away. <laughs> Oh my god, he's still making that sound. Dropped by games, games only to find out they're all out of... Uh... <laughs> he, he found my address. Is everything <laughs> okay, buddy? So after sneaking around my enemies really carefully... I think he's a, a little stuck. We dispose of the presidential Evangelions and secure a meeting with the Big Biden on campus. This is where he tells us his amazing plans to impose a 1% income tax and stop turning the water into fry oil, which I have to say is really landlord-phobic of him. When he says something so wealth-phobic, you gotta hit him with that CEO stare. Also, fun fact, if you head outside the map, they just uh, put Elon's face as a texture. Yeah, I just, just cause. Exiting the level, we notice that the friendship of the president has caused the stock market to exponentially increase with no upper limit, causing my fish index fund to increase in value indefinitely. I uh, would invest in GameStop, but it has uh, become a side wave. Oh my god, I wish that I fished more before continuing in certain levels. I just wanted to finish the game, but I think that I kind of made it harder for myself because I could have just spend that money on buying upgrades. Very, uh, very volatile prices. So to maximize our earnings, I decided to get up from my computer and eat dinner. And when I came back, I had accrued the funds to buy everything in the entire game. I feel like this counts as <laughs> some sort of tax fraud. There's no such thing in this universe. So after buying all the game's upgrades before the government can tax me, we head back to our unassuming abode to unwind and watch my favorite YouTube channel. Pick up the fucking phone. Uh, hello? 95 counts of market manipulation. 5 million dollars in untaxed earnings. 2 billion counts of rape. And you somehow managed to buy an onion future. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay, I did not expect that. I think that that is a uh, call out to what, the third? Well, at least one of the endings with the whole... <laughs> okay, how do we explain that? Like, there is a theory. It's not so much of a theory, it's straight up factual, that's what happens. But, like, you reset the universe, making yourself immortal, peeling it layer by layer. You understand how weird it is to try to explain Cruelty Squad to somebody? <laughs> like, I wish that <laughs> I, I wish that there was, like, a simpler way of explaining it, like Shrek explains to Donkey the feelings with onions, but I'm just left there just having the word onion playing in the back of my mind again and again, like that bloody Frenchman. Onion. There are federal agents outside your house, so if you want out of this shit, you're gonna have to earn it. Okay, but, uh, can I shoot my landlord? 
What? This has nothing to do with my rent. I'm just, oh, I'm just no. taking the opportunity. CEO grinds. No, no, no. That's uh, fair. Just evicted another six rentoids. 18 if you count the children. Can't believe so many single mothers could fit in the same room. Also, I'm going to be uh, adding a 300% visitation fee to your rent. Unfortunately for this man, I am a dedicated Maoist. My actual landlord is going to swap me after he sees this. <laughs> Yeah, going after the landlord is one of the better missions in this game because uh, it's uh, hella fucked up. Dude straight up has, what, what would you say, S -s slaves? Like indentured servant in there? I, I think that those are other renters that were just s passing around, running in the apartment. Ugh, freaky. This apartment is certainly very complex, both spatially and geopolitically on account of the uh -huh. ominous towers in the apartment distance, complex. with most hallways either leading to a maze of wonder and mystery or just taking you straight out of the top floor. Uh, so this is certainly a room. Every apartment has one. Life uh, life, life has many doors, fed boy. We did it, guys. We, we found the doorway. Ah, uh, cool. It's uh, two uh, normal towers. But worst of all, this level makes us interact with our neighbors, which wouldn't be bad if the level didn't sound like this. How about we just go talk to this guy? What the fuck? This guy's got fascinating things to tell us about. I don't think I'm, I'm allowed to repeat this one. Oh, I well, mean, locally me. they are I harmless. I am a dedicated Maoist after all. Don't worry, fellas, he's just writing a tweet. Very black suppository and debased <laughs> of him. Oh, he was, uh, keeping a slave. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. So we get away with a minor misdemeanor and several dozen deaths, then move on to get some fun and relaxation on the high seas. Hey, hey sorry, buddy. That was a uh, funny prank I just pulled. Uh, 49 people are dead. It turns out tax fraud's been legal for 10 years, so uh, <laughs> no hard feelings. Wow, I guess rich people can get away with anything. We prefer the term people of wealth. Now, if you're ready, uh, let's go kill some rich fucks. Welcome to the world's most beautiful and secluded getaway. Oh where yeah, there are it's before. no authorities to hear your screams. And before the idiot there will party. certainly be, as half the population of the ship is actively begging for death. Genius writing. I think their microphone is broken. And while we're on the subject of begging for death, it's time to talk about what I spent all of my insider trading on and why it was a really bad idea. Uh. You see, Cruelty Squad allows us to purchase a number of upgrades, but most of these upgrades are objectively bad. The body horror. Oh, let's not get into it. Like the grappendix, when you start dealing with it and understanding how possibly funny it can be, it's like, okay, fine, appendix may explode, but whatever. <laughs> We're using it like Spider Man now. But everything else, like you get, how is it, the jet? Like jet propulsion out of your back? Oh man, I can like feel. Uh, it makes me uncomfortable. We've got implants that slightly change the game's contrast and transform me into a fucking golem. Spend one million dollars to ruin the game. Use a radio to play any song from this game's amazing soundtrack. Uh, w what? Is this what the kids call a uh, slurp core? We have lost the ox privileges. Ruin the game with increased contrast. Bring the dark more. world into every world and completely break the game by swinging outside the map and killing the target through the floor. This amazing feat of game design is only possible with an augmentation known as the Grapendix, which, hey. true to its biology, uh, randomly kills you. The Grapendix allows you to attach yourself to walls, attach yourself to ceilings, trampolines, people on the street, and of course, uh, the bullets that you fire, transforming the game from a quirked up stealth shooter with a little bit of swag. In what? In the ultra kill? I didn't know that you could do that. I've been playing the game wrong the entire time. <laughs> oh, okay, well, this is why we get to watch videos like this so that we learn. To the Mach 5 nightmare that I have always wanted to play. And that isn't even mentioning the bio thruster, which by emitting a disgusting amount of goo at a disturbingly high speed, completely bodies any sense of pacing or level design. And it's the best shit ever made. Just uh, be careful on the way down. Literally shit. Uh, uh, what? Okay, so apparently every single level just has a room like this. It's just like a real cruise ship. So after collapsing the nearby pool by flying <laughs> into it, this fucking guy just uh, doesn't give a shit. <laughs> we gamble away our life savings for a little too long and have to pick up all the coins individually. 90% of players uh, quit before they make it big. Better, better keep gambling just to be sure. 
for the next stop on our enjoyable vacation, we decide to take a trip to the nearby alternate dimension where we can relax and admire the many disturbing entities like the Bubble Buddies or the Anomalous Hot Tub Zombie. Uh, um, I, I guess I'm not going to open that door. <laughs> I, uh, you, got, you guys having fun over there? We can also check out the secret underground maze of unusual layout and sinister implications. Behold, mortal, for I am the object of thy quest, the beacon of hope. Um, <laughs> is, is he okay? And that is why oh. the Jews did it. Uh, did what again? Planned my niece's birthday party. Oh, okay. It was outside some assholes of Portland building. Bog business is a really nice level. I like the part where the video stays oh, yeah. monetized. I think I might have uh, figured out where the swamp step is from. It's time to... Yeah, uh... Slope step. I imagine that that could turn out to become a uh, Twitch meta in the future. Ah! Right, to clean the urinals at double the speed. This level is just a really fun time, which is why everyone at the farm is so happy to be alive. Miyazaki really <laughs> himself with this one. <laughs> Heading through the swamp and into the shrimp dimension, we find ourselves on the precipice of a dark and mysterious valley, veiled in a tapestry of terrifying secrets and even more terrifying answers. Something oh, yeah, is the out mind. there, and someone is watching, observing our every move, examining me as I cover the entire valley in feces. Bray. Heading deeper into the mines, we are overcome with the strong sense that something is profoundly amiss, and the workers are. D d what, what the fuck? <laughs> these are the faces of <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> and in the darkest reaches of these twisted caverns, we uncover a dreadful secret never meant to see the light of day. Meat in this world does not grow, it is harvested. The earth itself lives and breathes, but most importantly, it feels pain. A and, it, and it likes it. Uh, hey man, nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, listen, I, I know it looks bad, but in my defense, it was really funny. I promise to you that my crumbing days are over. From this moment onward, I will be sticking strictly to adult porn. Strictly to what? Oh, 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 you, you, mean, the, you mean the meat mine. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, don't worry about it. After all, there's nothing you can do to reverse the process. Uh, so we reverse the process using Remington therapy, yo. then navigate the vascular system all the way back to the beginning of the level, leading us to our fifth vacation of the video in a respectable financial establishment. Hold on. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Michael Brains is working uh, for a subsidiary for Cruelty Squad. Yes, that's how it is. Because your employer is initially good friends with him and then asks you to go and take him out because he has, well, he's no longer useful to him. But then you make it to the place where the Ninja Turtles are making all the income. Which I can be trusted to explore responsibly for the next eight hours. Okay, so it was a little more than eight hours, but uh, I'm gonna break even soon. Just trying to get the, the worst for gun in and game. One hour game. My favorite is the slot machine that uh just just <laughs> generates garbage. This casino also features the room with one of every enemy in the game that you will be going into, and uh, and I forget what else there is. But that is okay, since this is basically the longest level in the game, anyways. <laughs> I killed everyone in the fucking casino, so we gamble away my son's child support. And because of our amazing returns in the waste industry, we are given invites to attend the annual Illuminati convention, where we get to wine and dine with all the world's billionaires and politicians before sacrificing the child. <laughs> Welcome to the Idiot Party, a labyrinthine maze containing the best and brightest of the Orphan Blood fan clubs. God, the I worst. hope we get to see Mr. Beast before Moloch demands my firstborn. <laughs> Featuring such amazing attractions as the room designed for humans and the giant blender that fires you into space. But that is nothing compared to the main attraction of our wealthy guests, who are here to provide us with captivating insights into exactly how many children it takes to mine our cobalt. Can't wait to see what amazing life advice these Words of wisdom. guys uh, get up at 5 a.m. Uh, journal. Be the owner of 95 properties. Okay, thank you. Sit That's a grind set. Lesson in Jesus Christ. Buy as many Funko uh, Pops as you can. There. Make the normies think Have you aren't immortal. Have we rules for life? Oh god, they got him too. <laughs> guy to kill people. Okay, I understand. I get it. I get it. Pointers and jointers. Push I, this is, this is awesome. Immortality is the best. And I, I'm oh, just the pound. So much fun. Yeah. Wisdom That's, for uh, the that's really good advice. I'm gonna take that to heart. I'm gonna take that advice. I'm gonna take that advice. So after taking our medication and restoring the light of God, we decide to ride the elevator. 
as long as it takes. All the way up to the Neuron Activator, actual level name. The only mission in this game to give me a piercing migraine, yeah, which, if you've seen this club. video, is really fucking impressive. From the seizure-inducing dance floor to the inverted nightmare maze with a demon inside of it. This nightclub is designed from the ground up to hurt anyone with functioning eyeballs, and with enough time, reduce the number of functioning eyeballs. Isn't this the one that has like the big ass pigs that can turn invisible as well? <laughs> oh my god, every single word that you say trying to describe this game is just messed up. But those are literal NPCs that are in the game, I'm not making this up. This presents a little bit of a challenge when you're up trying to see the enemies. So to reach our targets, we're going to have to be very precise and subtle. Yeah, kill everybody. Today I will be opening a normal door and uh... Okay, never mind. Walkers. I really like the way the NPCs just uh to slowly gather around you in a circle. It really makes me feel uh, so sacrifice. welcome and protected. Yeah. When the beat drops, I'm going to fucking kill myself. Oh, my yeah. Theory time. Oh god, the civilians no. are a writhing mass of flesh. I just, I they just want to know what the bathroom is. You, you don't have link. to do this to I me. I boiled a baby alive in a thousand knots. So we liquidate every member of this godless cave, including the man behind it all, my, uh, Michael Jackson. I, I don't know why he moved. Like that. And after investigating his PC, we move on to the funny office level so I can organize a meeting between HR and the bullets in my gun. Oh yeah. Welcome All to members Control of the Incorporated, Colts. the world's only Fortune 500 company where the employees do not have pathfinding and will walk out the ninth floor. And today, <laughs> we're going to be taking workplace harassment to the next level, starting by uh, clearing out the witnesses. This mission consists of many targets spread throughout the world's most ridiculous waste of real estate. Really gotta commend the devs for their uh, sick Roblox hobby. My favorite part of the office is when they forgot to code Michael Scott's pathfinding and he no, fucking dies. <laughs> so after navigating a hostile workplace environment and and giving our employees a big severance package, we decide that now is the time to go on strike. Especially since I am 100% of the remaining workforce. My demands are simple. Let me kill Jeff Bezos. Taking the elevator in the center of the building. One day, we advance past the penthouse guards and accidentally back down. Oh no. I'm gonna break in through the fucking window. Do you have any idea what you've uh, just done? Yeah. Do you even know who I am? I am the one entrusted by the Trigons to keep this world together. Yeah, the Trigon being the freaking flower looking ass. And you've been making my job very difficult. Uh, sorry? Sorry isn't going to cut it. I want this bitch's penis fucking exploded. <laughs> this dimension is rotten to its core. Shoot me. What? Even you won't if you change kill me, anything. You'll change nothing. You yeah. cannot end immortality. Oh, but you can. Uh, where if you can figure I out the exactly? game. This is just like Gorbino's oh, quest. Okay. This is the Gorbino's quest. Oh, hey, no. you know what? This uh, is just like Gorbino's quest. Oh no! This no, 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 is no, no, the no. Gorbino's quest. I can't be here. Life. This is just like Gorbino's quest. Oh my God! They got him again. Can anyone, <laughs> can can anyone quest? tell me what's going on? This <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mikhail, yes, it is Mikhail Gorbachev, yes, uh, the, the one who has uh, the birthmark on his head looking like uh, Africa, I think. I, I can't exactly remember how he looked like, but like he's been depicted as one of the characters, the eldest in One Piece. And of course, who can forget the Pizza Hut commercial? This is just like Gorbino's oh quest. Oh, this is the Gorbino's quest of life. Even dream. Please do not we play this guys. game when you're high. We finally found the world's only video game, and all we had to do was t t the reality merge. Welcome to the Archon Grid, a horrifying plane of eternal torment sitting at the end of reality itself. Really love the opportunity to uh meet people. <laughs> and to get to the bottom of this twisted game, we're going to have to navigate a funny series of challenges from the hit popular video game t Gorbino's Quest, yeah. which, by the way, increases the speed of the orange demon based on your FPS. And mine was 200, meaning this level was and three they cannot times be damaged. than intended. Gambino's Best is a game made up of many mysteries, which the player has to solve while being pursued by Freddy Fazbear. I like the part of the movie where they uh, help a nice old man fit into his new suit. <laughs> the only issue being that most puzzles are meant to trap you forever. That box ain't lying. Wow. Gorbino's Quest do be having 500 hours of mind-pumping action. So we make our way through the hordes of PS1 goblins, eventually. 
then, about two minutes later, find ourselves fighting God. It's just yeah, like my favorite come. Japanese video games. And after mapping him to a cross with no future consequences, we journey to the center of the Archon Grid to finally reset this rotten reality. Once and for all. Um, excuse no, me. No, no. No, no, no. I didn't what the fuck is this shit? Hey guys, Max are here, and, uh, and, and welcome to hell. At this point, I'm really starting to vibe with it, honestly. <laughs> yes, that is a common problem. What? No, 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 I, I specifically wanted to leave this place. <laughs> <laughs> so, after killing the concept of death and eternally trapping our souls on this hellish plane, we acquire enough funds to purchase a normal house in a very welcoming neighborhood where yeah. we can relax and. It is possible to continue the game after that. You might not want to, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this became a bit too difficult for me. Do all of the activities that normal humans do, like watch my favorite channel, open the fridge correctly, speak to the devil, and admire my 50 copies of Gorbino's Quest. Quest. <laughs> Heading as far away from that place as possible and immediately fighting three gods, because that went so well last time, we noticed that all the water in the game has been tainted a blood red. This is a reference to, <laughs> to yeah, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Evangelion. <laughs> also, the game just lets me uh, change the blood color to something very significant. How's about we go into town and uh, strike up a normal conversation? I follow the teachings of Fuckbro99. I don't know what I was yes. expecting. The strong decide the I, you know what, never mind. This level is really fun. I like the part with the nine transparent flesh demons and the. Uh, whatever that is. Hey there, buddy. It's great to see you. Not every day you could meet someone so ripe for purification. What does that mean? Now we can work on making you beautiful. Welcome to the cold. Like me. Well, I guess this is it. I have everything that I could ever want. Money? Power? Literal immortality? So much has changed, and yet I'm still just a pawn. Maybe I'll always be a pawn. Uh, because you have anime music no, playing. I can't <laughs> give up here. I've still got one target left. One person who was always there. Yeah, boss. Someone plotting from the shadows, and yet so far away. And as long as I can find them, I've still got a way to change things. I still have hope. Well, <laughs> guess we'll never know. So after finding the Dark Orb to unlock the super secret hardest difficulty... Yeah, that strips you of all of your things. Dottie the Screaming Cube is the final part of the game. We arrive back at the place where this mess first began, and to finally take out the source of this world's corruption, we're going to have to be a little bit creative, because this world's corruption has an HP of several million. And also here, uh, makes you short. So to defeat our final foe, we head deep into the Cruelty Squad catacombs, past the assortment of random enemies, and into the chambers of the Funny Golem, which upon death fires off a total of... 1,000 flechettes into the room. <laughs> All to access Whoa. a very special weapon, which scales its damage based on how much money you have in the stock market. And oh I my just god. so happen to have a little bit of... Yeah, powered with inflation. In the next fight. You are nothing without me. I created Cruelty Squad. I created you. I own you. Oh shit, that was one shot. This looks like an interesting level exit. Life. Another uh, song? No, no, please don't make me do this again. <laughs> God fucking damn it. This, uh, the, the, this, this is not good for the YouTube bit rate. Really, uh, really, really didn't want to hire an animator for this one, I guess. Uh, thank you? <laughs> this shit is making my head hurt. Why is it, why, why is it giving me actual good advice? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a, a remix. This, this is just a special fucking game, honestly. <laughs> uh, 
The final level of Cruelty Squad is a loop of endless trauma. A horrifying labyrinth of nonsensical rooms so named because of how many times I had to restart it. Straight Trapped up to in this new and terrifying realm. We are stripped of our assets, our upgrades, and our sense of actual level design, forcing us to use all the mechanics that I forgot about 20 hours ago. This stage is a place of chaos, a place of torment, where, much like the rest of the game, we are forced to adapt to the absolutely nonsensical. Also, we can reach the cradle of life, and finally put an end to this twisted... Uh, whatever this shit is. Welcome to I, life. I am not paid enough to analyze this. So despite being a little rough around the edges and uh, possibly untested before release, Trauma Loop is the perfect encapsulation of what makes Cruelty Squad an amazing game. With multiple equally insane routes, mind-bending challenges, and a headache-inducing visual aesthetic that I can assure you is necessary for the game to function. I Listen, how come you <laughs> play through the game, get your mind messed up, and then go, okay, let me just add a little bit more spice onto the editing and make it even more fucked up. Yo, dude, my, my brain usually delights in the mind-bending twists that happens in video games and or just in the editing that Maxwell puts in his videos. But like when you combine both of those, oh my God. <laughs> This hits harder than an unprescribed dose of Redolin. I have never experienced a game that was so equally fun as it was terrifying, and I definitely recommend that you play it. So, if you want to pick up Cruelty Squad and finally experience what Eco Death is like, then don't worry. I have already spoiled it for you. Seriously though, in a world of crazy graphics and even crazier development cycles, it's good to know that people are still making games with just a little bit of personality. I'm Maxor, and this has been your guide to a late stage retinal damage. And as always, set goals, invest, wake up early, CEO, mindset. Right. Uh. Subscribe to the fucking channel. Man, this was pretty much the equivalent of going to the high heavens, meeting God and the dude being like, Dude, what are you doing here? <laughs> no, let, no, you know what? Let me take you by the hand. I, I'm gonna leave with you. We need to go down low, down there to visit Lucifer because this is way too high. And then finally meeting that dapper gentleman and being like, holy shit, what have we done? Cruelty Squad is definitely a game that puts Finland on the map and I just realized that adding on to that trifecta is also ultra kill. Shit. Man, Finland is goaded. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, please do make sure to go and subscribe to Max Or If you liked the video, of course, don't forget to hit the like button. And I wish you all to have a wonderful day. See you guys in the next one. Bye.